under the original text of Hindu Marriage Act, the cruelty was not recognized as the ground for the dissolution of marriage. It was included in 1976 when amendments were made by Marriage Laws Amendment Act. Now, cruelty is a well-recognized ground for the dissolution of marriage. Although cruelty has been legally uh, recognized as a genuine ground for the dissolution of marriage, but at the same time, no definition has been given by the Act. Being subject to, it seems right that the Act has not given any definition of cruelty. What may constitute cruelty today may not be true tomorrow and vice versa. The courts, while interpreting cruelty, have applied different yardsticks as per the needs of time. Cruelty now in the light of court decisions. In Gurucharan Singh v. Sukhdev Kaur, AIR 1979, Punjab and Haryana 98, the wife left her husband and refused to return. She was having a two-month-old infant and even she left the child with the father and refused to keep the child with her and the child died soon after her leaving. The court held that the conduct of wife amounted to cruelty and husband's petition for divorce was decreed. In Anil Bhardwaj versus Nirmalesh, AIR 1987 Delhi. The Delhi High Court observed that the willful denial of sexual relationship by a spouse would amount to mental cruelty. The courts have taken this view consistently. The willful omission towards the health of the spouse in Rajendra Singh v. Taravati, AIR 1988 Delhi, was held to constitute cruelty. In Parim Meher v. Parami Nageshwar Sastra, AR 1994, Andhra Pradesh, that the removing of Mangal Sutra by the wife constitute cruelty on the husband. But a different view was taken in B.N. Pandurunga v. S.N. Vijay Lakshmi, AR 2003, by Karnataka High Court where the court held that when a wife was schizophrenic and was alleged by the husband that she was removing Mangal Sutra and doing other things, the court, while negating it as an act of cruelty, emphasized that regard must be had to the social status, educational level of the parties, and all other relevant facts and circumstances. In Bhavna and Shah versus Nitin Cheman Lal, allegations made by the wife that the husband was having illicit relationship with his real sisters was held to constitute cruelty and the husband entitled to divorce. Cruelty can be inflicted in a number of ways. It is not physical beating which would amount to cruelty, but also mental agony caused in different ways and by different means. The courts have taken serious note of all those things which can be employed in order to constitute cruelty.